Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Express.js and MySQL CRUD tutorial for beginners. In the last episode, we set up our MySQL database, we created a table and we also did the connection with Express.js and MySQL. Today, we will start implementing the create functionality which is inserting data via RESTful API. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the first two episodes, I'll request you to kindly go through them as they are all continuously being incremented and built upon. So it will only make sense if you have done the previous setup and the database creation. With that being said, let's get started with today's episode of creating the POST API to insert new records. So what we are going to do is we'll implement a RESTful POST API which through which we will collect the data. We will use that data to do some basic sanity check of validation then we will insert it into database and do the response and response and the error handling right so let's get started uh, we have our database ready this is what we did in the last episode all right so this is where we are at with respect to episode number two we created the mysql connection and the database connection so today now let's get started first thing is we will you need to use a body parser which we imported right now we need that body parser because in order to use the request body we will have to set up the body parser so we will say body parser dot json now once we have that we are going to also it's a middleware so basically we are telling app dot use body parser dot url encoded right and this value we will say extended extender is let's say true now we are saying json data we will collect via body parser okay so this is set up now let's go ahead and what i want to do is write a generic method which handles the queries okay like every time you don't have you usual way of doing is writing db dot query to insert read update and delete but in order to better handle what we can do is write a generic method and return it as a promise when the query is successful or return an error when it fails. So let's implement that. So that way we can reuse it in all the um, methods that we will do like post, get, put and delete. So I'm going to write function query promise. Now it will take two, value, uh, two inputs. Uh, two parameters which is SQL and the values now this values is a array it can be empty also now we will just return with a new promise and promise takes two values always it can either resolve or it can reject once we have that then we are going to close this here and here we are going to say db dot querying I'll pass the SQL which we passed in the method here and then we are going to say the next will be the values and finally we will have error or results. Now for this results whenever we get data if there was an error in executing the query then you reject this promise by throwing back the error else resolve using the results right simple now all we are doing is we are making sure when the db dot query runs it will give error or results if it's an error we'll reject this promise if it's a result we'll resolve it now this method is generic now it can handle all the queries that we want to build with mysql with that being said it's now much easy for us to directly start with our post api which is to create new resource using the RESTful endpoint. So this will be a RESTful endpoint to create a new resource. What are we going to do here? Simple, we will write app.post because we are doing a post operation of create. Create is always post. Now here we will say slash tickets. That's what we are trying to build. And then 
will write an async method and say request and response so this will be the structure of our post call now since it's an async that I have written I'll add try catch in the try first what we need to do is collect all the data that comes in request body okay the first step is the collection so I'm going to say variable title description active equal to request dot body they're all coming from the body so I'm going to collect them the next thing you can do is do a basic uh, validation okay which is to check if they are empty okay so this this is the most basic check you can do for any incoming data whether it's empty or not if it's empty I'm going to throw a new error and I'm going to say title and description are mandatory okay so once you have it now we will also need to check there is one more field we added which is active right now this is a boolean value basically tiny int so it can be either 0 or 1 so we can just set it's a boolean value so if I'll say if there is no value for active make the default active equal to true right so by default by default we are setting active as true unless it comes as false all right so next what we'll do constant let's create an uh, issue which is nothing but a collection of all these three right so let's assign that right here that it would have all these three fields as the value now let's build our SQL query now the SQL query that is uh, that goes with this is insert into into table name and the table name that we created is tickets right so insert into tickets then it follows you can also mention the column names here like this title description and active these are the columns inside this table and then we will put values now trick is this that for these values what we are going to do is not pass the values but instead we would just leave them as this now why we are doing this because we have a method which would handle all of this so we are saying let's say result equal to um, a wait since we wrote it as a async uh, method if you see here right uh, it's inside async so I've written await till this DB executes this particular promise and returns me either error or a result so we are going to say we are going to pass SQL and then the following values so once you have this here so here we are building the query and this is where actually you are executing the query okay using this particular generic method that we have written which is query promise now once you have that so now you know if it's proper value it would give result if it's error it will throw the error because that's what we have already written now in the response we will say response.json right we are giving back the JSON response and we'll map an ID if the insert was successful we will have a insert ID that's the default it gives the the next incremental value and then description and active or not okay so now what we are doing in the catch we can just say console dot error for now same error will log okay all right so that's all you will need uh, to build a post API okay now this will execute and we are not passing this issue because instead of values we should be passing the issue here okay so now we are passing the issue here and SQL is here query promise that looks good 
let's go ahead and execute and check how it looks okay that's all we need now node index.js so it says server started successfully database connect successfully open postman and send the data and we should get back a result unless something failed so okay so it says you have a SQL error let's check what is that it says you have an error in the syntax okay let me check the syntax now let's see insert into tickets title description active and then the values okay let's try one more time removing those quotes okay still error let's quickly debug so it says parse error uh, you have an error in your SQL syntax okay insert into the table name that's tickets and then we have oh that's because I did not put it as an array and the braces yeah okay sorry about that okay let's see this now. okay so you see here it returned back with an ID and inserted data you insert change some more value creating third record send and it says creating third record and ID is 3 so that way our post is working fine but let's also verify it in the database when I click on browse you can see here that it's showing me the data that I sent which is creating third record creating first issue which is what we sent here through the form which is what is postman right so I've selected post and the URL is slash tickets because we wrote the URL as slash tickets here okay so that way our post is working fine this is how you use um, Express.js and MySQL to create a new post endpoint using this API now you can build and insert records into your database do give it a try do let me know if you face any problem I'll be happy to help you so that being said we conclude this uh, episode and we learned about how to insert data using Express.js in the next episode we will continue building our CRUD functionality and we will implement the read functionality I hope you are enjoying I hope you are learning from the series and stay tuned keep loving keep sharing your love on my channel thank you for joining see you in the next episode